Hey guys, welcome into the video and in today's video we're going to be discussing the new leaks regarding the two new operators uh, codenamed Caltrap and Dazzler. So let's get started. First we're going to be talking about their gadgets, uh, armor and speed rating, weaponry and that's it. So first things first, Caltrap. Caltrap means uh, this little gadget that was used by the Chinese uh, as an anti-personnel mine. It's basically three or four nails uh, twisted in a shape that it will make it it will have several sharp angles someone will step on it and voila you you basically disable that person a cool info about this particular trouble gadget that it was uh, used by the Chinese against the Mongolians not against the uh, soldiers per se but against the horse uh, the horses so the Mongolians used their horses as a, like a power tool. They were very effective with their horses. Now, you deny that, you deny the power of the Mongolians. This is how the Chinese thought of it and actually worked to some extent. So, by this name, we know this operator is a trap operator. And a trap operator would be very beneficial on the defending team. So, this is a, there is a 99% chance this is... Uh, a trap operator he or she uh, may be able to place mines you're gonna be see a picture here on someone who uh, posted uh, i'm gonna leave the full credit to his, to him uh, i'm sorry i'm uh did not know how to pronounce your name so you're gonna see his name on the screen right here and he actually got uh like went through the file uh, t uh, tts file name or technical server uh, technical test servers of uh, in-game files and figure this one out so this is a mine she can places he or she can places anywhere and the cool thing is that you see in line where uh, where you see uh, the arrow is pointed at is somewhat about cloaking so is it like a part of the mine mechanic or is it like uh, i know something like echoes drone ability because that would be clearly overpowered if you can, uh, like, cloak uh, a trap of some sort. Now, giving to this mine uh, ability thing, if this is a mine that you can actually put on something like the Bouncing Betty or an actual anti-personnel mine, you step on it, it goes boom, etc. Uh, does it put you in the down but not out stage? Does it kill you like a Capcane trap? Does it... Uh, uh, let's say disable you for a, a certain period of time maybe uh, like you're put in the down but not out stage for a certain amount of time like a timer maybe five ten seconds or does it just take away a part a part of your health let's say you are like a one armor operator it will take 90 two arm operator it will take 70 three armor operator will take 50 and it could be useful in, in a lot of situations let's say that you uh got damaged by a fall or by friendly fire another gadget etc now you step on that trap your health is already let's say 60 or 50 percent bam you're dead so it could be very useful the potential for another trap operator if uh, designed well can be very very beneficial especially to the defense team now moving on to the another operator which i suspect is going to be an attacker called dazzler this is his code name it could be his real name like his in-game name so we don't know yet now dazzler is a somewhat of a hard character to read uh we, like you already the, the picture is right there in front of you you know that his uh, ability is somewhat uh, regarding a, a type of gadget that will uh, disorient the enemy possibly even giving them the same flash effect uh, you have enough flash grenade or uh, we can go to the other like end of the spectrum a dazzler in real life is this uh, type of light or laser that could fire this intense and uh, an intense light or laser at the enemy's eyes to disorient them and make them unable to see or detect detect targets easily now this could go both ways it could be very powerful it could be like broken since day one but it could go also on the other end when you see this laser or this uh, light that's pointed on you you just have to shoot to the light and you get a kill possibly that's going to 
Now, another aspect of this uh, Dazzler ability, it could be that he uses a, uh, like a, a type of an attachment, much like a laser, but instead of you have this uh, direct and continuous beam of light or laser, you have like pulses, like uh, a pulse in a certain... Uh, in a certain frequency where you'll be able to disorient the enemy for a certain period of time or possibly even give them the same effect as when you get uh, I think it was a sonic a sonic burst by Echo's drone so something like that it could be also uh, this uh, type of operator has a like a, a mini grenade launcher and I'm like I'm suspecting that because as you already saw by the picture, you see this like Dazzler frag, blind spot, in the game files. So it could be like he has a um, like a type of grenade launcher with three or four grenades uh, that is uh, like you fire it at the enemy. He is uh, disoriented in some way where you you can't really see the enemy but you kind of like have a, a normal detection much like the sonic effect on echo's drone so they could go in that direction as well so we don't like no no all the information here this is just clearly speculation this is someone uh, a lot of people like uh, gone to the game files on the uh, technical test servers and you're gonna see a lot of these uh, and the few and the coming past few weeks now the interesting thing about these two operators if they one of them is a trap operator that we're gonna we're gonna be guaranteed that he is going to be a 2 speed 2 armor cap kane's biggest weakness is he is so slow he's so fast he can't really skip all the way across the map to put your trap you have to put them somewhere near because you have to stay near the objective because you can't really roam with them now frost on the other hand is somewhat more viable because she is a two speed to armor operator and why i do i suspect that this is going to be a two speed to armor operator the same thing with buck and frost frost was a trap operator and we have a buck who is somewhat of a direct operator and both of them were two speed to operator and they fit their role perfectly another aspect of why i suspect both of these operators uh, our two speed to armor operator is because we already have two one speed attackers and two three armor operators on the defending side echoes and mira and hibana and jackal so this could be a way to balance or keep things balanced in game and it i mean if they did that i would be super excited because it would actually make sense so th let's hope they give us a two armor two speed operator now regarding the weapons catrop was i mean if she is a defender then we're gonna assume that she is gonna have a type of shotgun and an smg the smg that was found or the name that was found in the technical test servers files were the jf js9 uh, you are gonna see a picture right here it's uh, an smg manufacturers by the chinese uh, this particular uh, SMG is and it has an integrated suppressor much like the MP5 uh, SD uh, that Echo uses so we're gonna have maybe another integrated suppressor or they could go and use the military version of the same the same gun which uh, you can't uh, you can use any other attachments uh, not, not a suppressor per se so you can put uh, like a muzzle brake uh, compensator etc so we can either have that or that if they gave us an like a an smg with a built-in suppressor it must have the the acog because the damage will not be let's say very powerful so it will be maybe 27 28 the real life version of this gun has rate of fire of 900 so that could transition into the game uh, perfectly i would see uh, like a new weapon added to the game uh, a weapon like that per se because i really don't want to see another mp5 in the game i mean it's a good gun but i want different guns now the assault rifle that uh, dazzler uses is an and it's an uh, chinese assault rifle goes by the name qzb 
A95. So it uses a very specialized cartridge that was developed by the Chinese only. It was like 5.8 by 42 millimeter. So again, a very good gun to use because if you play Battlefield 4, and I suspect a lot of players who play Rainbow Six Siege play that game, you'll know that the game, uh, the the gun in, the, uh, in Battlefield 4 was just amazing, and it was like so much fun to use. I mean, it was not like god tier, but it was funny to use a good weapon. Now, the rate of fire of that gun is 650 in real life. So, if that transition to the game, we're gonna see a low rate of fire, high damage, combine that with a medium or low recoil to maybe balance out the weapon. And it will be a nice addition to Rainbow Six Siege. I hate to see another type of M4 or M14 added to the game, especially with the attackers, but I would love to, to, uh, to see another weapon like this on the attacking team like a new weapon so that's it guys for today's video if you have any suggestions any new information basically any any type of like opinion on comments and uh, write them down in the comments and i'm gonna pause this already to see how people react to what i think about these two new operators so guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in another video bye guys